Tri-Rail is a South Florida commuter rail linking West Palm Beach to Miami with over 4 million annual passengers. I will be flying, wait, traveling with Tri-Rail from Deerfield Beach to downtown Miami 305 for only $6.25. Okay, so as we board and walk by Sleeping Beauty here, obviously I'm gonna go to the top floor of this train car for the best views. The train is definitely worth considering if you don't wanna pay all the expenses that come with driving and parking the car. For example, I don't see why you would wanna take a car over the train if you're going to the airport, unless you have heavy baggage. Trains come with charging ports, free Wi-Fi, and freezing cold air conditioning. Now, on the tri-rail, do not expect to see beautiful ocean or anything pretty, just a lot of industry. All this common commercial real estate being on the tracks is actually best case scenario. Because if not, then that's somebody who has to live right next to one of these. This Cessna caravan that took off from Fort Lauderdale Executive is going to the Bahamas for a nice vacation. The train is also great for a different perspective. You can see how the highway infrastructure functions to keep millions of people and the economy moving. My favorite part is zooming by any traffic buildup and the fact that you don't have to worry about being attentive and alert and switching lanes. Basically the worry free experience makes the ride go by a lot faster. Peep this Air Canada A321 coming from Montreal. We will actually see this plane again when it finishes its traffic pattern and comes in for the landing. We are currently stopped at Fort Lauderdale Airport Station. Next time I fly out of here, I will be using Tri-Rail and further testing how efficient it is. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe so you see that. I upload every weekend. Not many places in America have incredible landscaping like this. American Airlines is really showing off the power of the company by having the biggest hangar at Miami. We are now arriving at the incredible Miami Airport Station. This is a very needed travel hub. From here to get downtown, we're gonna have to get on the Metro Mover, but it won't be like this for long. Soon, the Miami Central Station in downtown Miami will have direct tri-rail service. The tracks are already in place, they are testing it now, and hopefully by quarter two of next year, it will be official. I will certainly make an updated video then. So now you might be thinking, I lied to you about the $6.25 cost because you have to allegedly pay a cost of $2 for the Metro Mover to take you downtown. But I have never seen anybody scanning tickets on board allegedly I may or may not have gotten a ticket that impressive Miami skyline you see is just the beginning this area is growing like wildfire this will all be completely unrecognizable in just eight years mark my words and that's an American a320 going to LaGuardia
that's an American A319 going to Toronto's YYZ. I actually want to visit Toronto when it's not, you know, 20 degrees Fahrenheit. We are now entering the Park West neighborhood of Miami where you see all the iconic Miami towers such as the 1000 Museum and the brand new Iron Man looking building, the Paramount World Center. This area is just the beginning of the next Hudson Yards of Miami. Almost every single plot of land and parking garage here will be turned into an apartment tower trying to be more luxurious and better than the rest. They have a pending Waldorf Astoria building they just broke ground on. If you managed to enjoy this video be sure to like and subscribe. My next few videos will be a lot better than this one, I promise.